Hi, pipe smokers. This is Paul the Pipe Guy live from Rochester, New York in the United States of America. And uh, <clears throat> was asking uh, my subscribers what other blends they would recommend that I try. And I do have one subscriber uh, that goes by the handle the pipe smoker and he said you have to try glp's gaslight yeah so when i came home today uh, i had ordered three tins of this because it looked really good <clears throat> the reviews and everything and i like what's in it uh it was 90 degrees full sun and it was sitting on my front porch, and when I opened the box, I mean, these were pretty warm. I mean, when you have something sitting for an hour on your front porch in full sun on concrete, and keep this in mind for any tobacco deliveries that you get, in my opinion, you don't want to bring that tobacco in and instantly open it up. Um, I mean... You know, a package sitting on concrete in full sun in 90 degree weather <clears throat> can reach like 120 degrees. Um, and so, you know, obviously tobacco has a lot of moisture in it. So you don't want to open that tin right up right away. So uh what I did is I put uh, two tins in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. They came out. Had a little condensation on the metal part of the tin. And I just let them come back up to room temperature. But, you know, you pop that top and it's 120 degrees. All that moisture is going to escape that tin. And I believe that probably wouldn't be good for your tobacco. So, before we pop the tin, let's read what's in it. <clears throat> ah, Old John London Series GLP's Gaslight. Uh, a rich Latakia mixture pressed. Or Latakia. A rich Latakia Latakia mixture pressed in one ounce cakes uh, on a misty moonless night along twisted cobblestone lanes illuminated only by the glow of an ancient iron lantern you follow a scent as dark as the night itself the exotic fragrance Hauntingly familiar, compelling, irresistible. Ah, so. Open the tin, discover the mystery, it says. Which we will do. Gaslight. Oh. Oh. Yes, and it does smell. Great. Oh yeah. So it's got lots of lots of little pieces in there. Oh yeah, look at that dark. Ah yeah. So we are going to rub this out and I have my Mr. Brog number eighty two console pipe. And uh, it does have a 9 millimeter filter, although I don't use them. I have my other Mr. Brog that also has a 9 millimeter that broke in yesterday's video. And it wasn't hot. Never take the stem off when your pipe is hot. I pulled this right out of the rack, cold as a cucumber. Twisted right off in my hand. I did look it up, and I bought this off eBay. <clears throat> back on January 7th of this year. So I emailed the seller who is in Poland and uh, hopefully they're going to do something for me. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to somehow get that piece of stem out of there and super glue it back together and hope for the best. 
So anyways, I don't know. We'll rub this out here. We don't need to pause the video. Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh, it rubs out good. Moisture content is nice. The smell is just great. Love. Latakia blends. Latakia blends. However you want to pronounce it. She does rub out good. And this is a moist uh, crumble cake. Fairly moist. And I think I got just about all I need to be rubbed out. Wow. Some of the pieces on this, the leaves are still pretty thick and big. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, I'm still waiting for Squadron Leader to become back available in stock. I don't know what's going on with them. They've been out of stock forever. I've checked all over the internet. Everybody's out of stock. So if anybody knows... A website where I can get some squadron later. I really want to try that. Ah, yes. Almost done. Yeah. Maybe we should just fill the bowl up. Yeah, let's just fill the bowl up. Why not? Hmm. <clears throat> So uh, we're coming up on uh, Labor Day, which is going to be the 6th of September. And so I will have that day off, kind of debating whether I want to take the prior Friday off, too, because uh, then I would have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday off. Just to grill out, maybe go to the beach. Maybe take a walk down into the village of Brockport. Maybe do some videos. I don't know, you know. Wow, some of these leaves are big. But anyways, so they're saying that uh, Charlie Watts, the drummer of the Rolling Stone, rumor has it that he did die from throat cancer, but it's only a rumor. Uh, back in 2004, he was diagnosed with throat cancer, but went through radiation treatment and went into remission. So who knows? Uh, you just never know. I mean, uh, the drummer... Um, Ginger Baker died a couple years ago at 80 years old also. They still haven't released his cause of death. I don't know. Perfect. I guess people enjoy their privacy. The family does. So, here we go. Yeah. Put this baby back on. And so out of our Mr. Brog number 82 console, if you run across this pipe, buy it. Mm. Mm. I want to thank my subscriber, The Pipe Smoker, for recommending this Gaslight by GLPs. It is unbelievable. Mm.
Oh, just so smooth. Robust, but smooth. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Mr. Pipe Smoker. I ordered three tins of that. My collection of tobacco blends is getting pretty large. I've been working 50 hours a week, so I've been investing a little money each week into different blends. On the recommendation of uh, my good friend, Mr. Aussie E. Piper, who said that the cost of pipe tobacco keeps going up and up and up, while the cost of pipes uh, remain constant. So he's putting his money into tobacco. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm doing too. Mm. I don't know what else they have in this blend. Uh, they don't say. It just says... Uh, I don't know. It just says it's a Latakia blend. Latakia blend. But uh, it's really good. You can definitely taste that. So, if you're a Latakia lover... You'll love this. Mm. Gaslight by GLPs. Good choice, Mr. Pipe Smoker. Anyways, I'm going to enjoy this smoke. And have a cold bush. I'm Paul the Pipe Guy live from Rochester, New York. Over and out. <laughs>